So I'm a moron, and I can't leave well enough alone. Yeah, I know I said I wasn't going to touch it, but I am actually... I made a directory on uh, my larger 10 gigabyte hard drive. Called it Work Backup 314. I'm copying everything from work, and then I'm going to nuke it and boot off of the GoTech again and actually do the install and then move my junk back over the long, long way, like finding the libraries that screwed up in the whole enchilada. So as you can see, it's copying fine, and it's going to take a little bit. So I'm going to let this copy. Okay, I think everything's copied. We're going to double mouse button. We're going to not put our disk in. Install 3.2, boot options, DF2. I should do this off CD. Let's put the 3.2 CD in. Now this is just a normal install of my mess because I am stupid. We're still going to boot off of the GoTech on install 3.2, but we're leaving the old SCSI hooked up here. I'm going to check and make sure my backup work. Oh, I got a lot of stuff on here. Backup 314. Here it all is, so I'm good. So I don't feel bad about going like this and just formatting workbench. I should call it system now. But I'm not. All right, we're gonna do uncheck the trash can and quick format. All right, so as you can see, work is empty. I'm taking the backdrop off like Jesus does, and we're gonna run the uh, CD-ROM icon here. Activate CD-ROM. Press return to activate your CD-ROM. Attempting to mount CD-ROM. I don't know if I've touched this before. A lot of times you have to edit the icon of activate CD-ROM for your device ID. All right, so the CD didn't mount. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the storage, DOS driver, CD zero. Yes, I know it's storage, but that's how it uses it. You can either click at the top and say information or just right Amiga and I will bring up the menu. You're gonna see it has some tool types here. Now my window is like very tiny. Device, SCSI device, Unit 2. This is Unit 6 for me. Is it 6? Yeah. This is Device 6. So I'm going to change the Unit 2 here. And I'm just getting this through clicking these little tiny arrows. SCSI that device. If you have GVP, it'll be GVP SCSI that device. Make it your own. So we're going to say Unit 6. And I'm going to save it. That way when I screw up in the future, I'll forget. So again, we're going to reboot. Install 3.2 in the drive, boot options, DF2, use, and boot. Activate CD-ROM. Enter. Attempting to do your CD-ROM. It's probably going to yell at me. We'll see. Or it'll work. There we go. Let me get OS 3.2 CD-ROM spun up. And we got it. Cool. So now, <laughs> we can install from here. CD-ROM life will make this easier with... All these CDs to proceed. We're going to install 3.2 just like we always do. Intermediate, for real, work partition, English like Jesus spoke, no printers, Merca. You want glow icons? I don't want glow icons. Checking work for obsolete files. So now she's going to roll because there we go. Still on install disk down here. We'll see if the CD ROM activates. In just a second, it's spinning. Yep, there it goes. Locale disk has already been inserted. You'll see this flicker very briefly. I mean, it's 900k, it ain't like it's loading a lot off a of CD. See, that's it. So, you don't really get a lot, but it makes the installation just so much better than flip flopping through 13 disks or more if you want multiple localities. Now before I'm done, I'm copying directory works back over. I'm doing that crap now. Oh, uh, underscore 314 CW. There we go. So now I can go DH2, all my junk. What a pain in the butt, but I am copying all my icons in their positions. Is I'm gonna run install 3.2 again, and I'm gonna install the CPU libraries. And you can go back and install glow icons if you want. There's been 372,000 videos on this already but I have my own way of breaking it 
and screwing it up and trying every possible mess up and then getting mad. Why? So you don't have to go through this crap. You can just say, hey, Chris did that and it screwed up. It might work on yours. Damn it. Be right back. Phone's ringing. Okay. Phone's done ringing. All right, so I'm going to proceed. We're going to do uh, CPU support libraries. We're going to have to reboot. Removing all disks. I'll leave the CD-ROM in. And we'll see if it keeps it. Usually it doesn't. It sticks it in the storage. And I'll have to reactivate the CD icon. You can always take it off of your install storage devs DOS drivers and drag it into devs DOS drivers for your Amiga if you can't figure that out. I was running ASIM CDFS and you saw I had some issues with it but that was just what I had back in the day and didn't change anything. And it's validating the hard drive and now I have a checksum error on a SD card that is just freaking awesome. And look at this ugly RAM disk icon. Good God can you get any more uglier than that? This looks like garbage. This is an Amiga 3000. Away away with nothing really on it now my DH2 has stuff of course we have a checksum error when I click cancel it works this is just this is great we're going to go into my work backup 3.2 hard drive stuff this is like this looks like crap I'm going to validate it with Amabac tools because analyze device, sure, don't care. Got enough memory. This will analyze the device, like it said, it's going to check the hard drive and then it'll validate it for me. Okay, so here's what Amabac found. There's a problem with the file, HDD. What the hell is that file? I don't know, fix that. <laughs> file HDD truncated. It could have been one of the hard drives for Amax or something. Right I don't know. I said that. It says change has been made. You want to update the disk? Sure. Updating the bitmap. Not the bitmap, brothers. The bitmap of the hard drive. Let's give her a full kung fu reboot. Hard drive is loading normally now, and we booted right up. So. Don't know what that was about. Now we're gonna take this backdrop snapshot all. Yay, and I can get back to restoring my crap. But first, we have to set this screen mode because this is just kicking my rear end. Oh God, I can't stand that color map there. Magic Workbench colors are off. But we just gotta get the phone. Alright, so I'm gonna go into eye control first and I'm gonna say it can move and resizable from all off. Yep. Great. Fine. So I'm going to go and start restoring my stuff. There's no need for me to bore you with the 9,000 things of my backup. I'm just gonna be dragging stuff back over. One more thing, real quick. So like I was saying, after you get done your install, if you have a CD-ROM drive, um, I went into uh, storage on the hard drive, and then DOS drivers, and here is CD0. It's going to put you back to factory default SCSI got device unit 2, but I'm going to change mine to unit 6, and then save, and then now I can drag this. I can either double click on it, but I'm going to take it into storage. Uh, take it out of storage and put it in devs DOS drivers and just drag that over there and I could actually if I wanted to double click on it and it should mount my CD-ROM in a second there it is Amigo OS 3.2 CD in all of its glory yay and there's Rocho and all sorts of stuff in here on the NDK directory. So if you're looking, the NDK32 directory has a lot of third-party applications like networking stuff and IP stacks and things like that. It doesn't come native, but you know. All right, so I think I kept all my files that I need to, and now I can run it. Control X, D, W, cool. 
and I can get my butt back to copying more stuff. Hang in there. Okay, so with everything copied, I got everything copied over. It took about an hour. I didn't overwrite any of the 3-2 stuff. Um, did my startup sequence, copied that over. I renamed the original startup sequence for 3.2. For now, I'll go through it and see if there's any major differences. Um, everything's been copied over. My desktop, the prefs. And Bark Sys, all that stuff for default icons, blah, 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 blah. This is the long way to do it, and you shouldn't do this, but you can do this if you have to. This is my upgrade, which is an over-install. Yeah, you get it. All right, so we're just going to reboot. And if this works, the CD-ROM should work. The hard drive shouldn't need to be validated, and this should say Amiga OS 3.2, copyright 2021, Hyperion. Instead of uh, 314, copyright 2018, Hyperion, or 2020 with 3141. You get it. Here we go, let's see what happens. I got a flicker. All right, so you can see my CD mounted. All of my stuff is there. I don't know if networking's working. Working, I don't know. Uh, Virus Z loaded, uh, let's see. My icons are Magic Workbenchy. I got a snapshot this. Uh, let's see, work. Everything should be in exactly the same position it was, for the most part. Amax, let me eject this CD, put this out of there, CD-ROM works, that's nice, all of my stuff is there, so it looks like I'm good, let's go into prefs, now, these icons still look like dookie, they haven't been magic workbenched, I already did screen mode, what am I in, I'm in 8 color right now, Reaction prefs, I'm not going to customize. Uh, workbench prefs, I am going to say set magic workbench colors. Uncheck the no new icons. Save. You can customize your title bar and crap like that. Not really worried about it. I did put no click in a commodity and my uh, title clock up here. Is it June 11th? No, it's not June. We'll see. All my other stuff, I'm going to can move off screen and resizable from all sides. We're going to do that. Okay, should close my windows. It didn't. Let's see if that works. No, that does not work. Why? Because my startup sequence is freaking not the 3-2 startup sequence. Let's check it out. This is the 3-2 startup. System remote ROM update, all this crap. So I'm going to open another one. We're going to compare the two. So you'll see, this is what I did. So this is my startup sequence. This is there. So 40.2, old one, 93. That's a 3.1, 3.9, something like that. 47.13, startup sequence for hard drives. We're going to make a V. Nope. It's just weird. We're going to make an I. And that doesn't look that just looks weird, doesn't it? Oh, now you're now you're doing your your thing. Okay, whatever. It's using some of the new workbench commands to change some crap. So I took the uh, startup sequence and the three two startup sequence, and I kind of made my own hybrid. So I'm gonna say uh, three one four, just so I have it, and I'm gonna copy mine over which is a combination of the new and a combination of the old. The main thing I found with the two startup sequences is there is a difference between 3.1 slash 3.14 where you do a uh, run nil colon. Now they're just raw calling the uh, assigns, raw calling any runs, uh, run statements, etc. There are a different bunch of configs using the 3.2 commands for the MMU check, CPU lib, stuff like that. Anyway, we're just gonna reboot it and see if I blew it up, screwed it up, whatever. If all goes well, it should look the same. Make link failed. Wrong number of arguments. Okay, well that sucks. <laughs> so I might have uh, screwed that one up a little bit. Okay. So I'll have to go through and figure out where the make link things are. I think it was for the RAM disk icons, which is this. 
and I like the magic workbench icons so it's kinda that's all so watch this is useless information but I didn't get any major errors so right here so I have a sign nil exists DFO that's fine uh, make RAM, C, execute, run nil, magic workbench. It's down here where there's a make link command. Make link. So I'm going to take this make link and just put a semicolon in front of it to kind of rem it out there in the Windows world. Yep, we're just going to say save. We're going to reboot again and see if we get the magic workbench icon. That uses iPrefs, so the hard drive doesn't self-validate anymore. This is just butts. I'm having a great day. This thing worked totally fine before 3.2. Not a problem. Here we go again. Let's validate the Stephen Hunt. 1,000. So this is the error. Header block 243-0369 is not correctly hashed. Do you want to remove it and reinsert it? Just fix it. Yep. Oh, boy. Got a bunch of them. And it'll usually finish in a couple seconds after that. I don't know what happened. Updating the bitmap. Holy Christmas. Not my day. I'm pretty close. This is not my day. Alright, this should go bong. Rebooting again. Nerves, there we go. So we're functional-ish. Let's see what blows up this time. Probably data block got corrupted, nothing's gonna work. And mount failed. I'm just, we're, we're rocking. It's just perfect. Perfect. So this is the original startup sequence. Devs, DOS, drivers, blah, 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 the info. Let's open up mine. Make dir, bind drivers mount. So, and uh, reboot. This is the stock 3.2 startup sequence. Let's see if it errors out on mount. Maybe that hard drive corruption, SD card corruption, uh, broke the file of mount. Just testing stuff. If this works, it's weird that the exact same typo line works. Make link failed. The stock startup sequence. Looks like the hard drive or the SD card in here is just kind of messed up. Alright, so we're going to go into directory works. Good God, I apologize for this. Uh, let's see, we're going to go to this. Oops, work. C, just in case I screwed up, we're just going to copy everything over top here and then rebooting again with all the junk copy from C on CD. I just heard the CD drive pop up. No, mount failed. Weird. And the line is this. Mount devs DOS drivers section C mount is what I have. So I'm going to try C Mount. We'll do the nil. What the hell? Devs DOS drivers. So that's what we're gonna do. And one more reboot. Mount failed. How can mount fail? We're having a good time here. Let's take the word mount. Mount. Copy the RAM. I want to see something. So the same one in C and RAM are the same phone. Check user startup. Alright. Old stuff. Here's a mount. So I don't need pipe. We can go... Don't need FIFO. Don't need that. Don't need that. Magic Workbench page stream. Okay, that doesn't work anyway. Samba, AMA TCP, MUI, no mounts, Miami, class act. I wonder if that's going to mess with reaction. That's going to screw up reaction. Guaranteed. Uh, assign SMCDFS, assign SMCDSF buffer. Yep, 
Is that a double space there and that's why that's not working? Nope. Now, executive XFD patch. Do I even need that? Let's take that out. Don't need Rex mask because that's done. ASL. I don't know if I need that anymore. Uh, and SSL. I do need Roadshow. I commented out because it always screws up. Let's try that one. I don't know. I'm getting a pause. Virus Z is not returned. Okay. Bingo. Whew. That was scary. Must have been one of those user startup dudes. So, 2021 Hyperion Entertainment, Workbench Release 3.2, 1.9 gigs, CD-ROM activity. Awesome. Take that out. Holy moly. So, that's the importance of making backups of all your stuff. And that is the long and lengthy review slash how to not but do upgrade that you can't so you just kind of you know waste a day or a morning or an afternoon doing a fresh install and then copying your crap back over breaking it seven eight times and then fixing it finding out the little the little piece that has eluded you this entire time and in my case it was in the sign or user startup now, will the safe boot mode work? Probably not, but let's try it anyway. We'll double mouse button. So hold both mouse buttons down when you reboot. Go into boot options. Choose your bootable device. We're going to say fail safe boot here. Right here, fail safe boot. It's a bottom option. You can enable a system log too. Not worried about it. We're not going to update the ROM modules too. We're just going to say fail safe boot and boot. I want to see what happens. There we go. Now we have a fail safe mode. Features have been disabled. It's in safe environment. So you could go in and run something. That's cool. So here we go. We're loading final time. Mega OS 3.2. Haven't tried audio. Nothing. Nope. There's a delay. I have to put the do not wait in startup. There's some changes in the way it does things. But so far, it seems like it's, uh, what am I doing? Workbench startup. Oh my. Poof. And we're going to take this. Red Amiga I. Wait until finished. No, sir. Let's save that. One more. Good to go. No virus Z popped up. Hmm. There it goes. Taking the do not wait off, it kind of just frees up the old boot process. Please stand by while the dog barks his head off. Oh my god. If you want a dog, let me know. So look, that about wraps up my mess. It's a mess. I'm going to put it back when it's 13 inch little monitor. It's a, it's a crazy day here in, in the land of Oz. And I have to get on to next projects. So the 3.2 thing just kind of has uh, rolled me for several days. And I hope your experience is better. Maybe this can help you in some way, shape or form. But your results may vary. Thank you all for watching, and as always, I hope you learned something.